Hey guys, um, today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can use some of this digital art that you're creating via whatever AI software generator you're using. And today we're going to take it from the computer to a greeting card. And we're going to take it <clears throat> and we're going to be printing out the greeting card from the image that we're, we created, the digital image that we created. And we're going to design out our greeting card all the way, okay? Valentine's Day is getting ready to come. Simple way to make your own greeting card without having to go to the store and purchasing purchasing one. Everything's expensive now. The price of everything, they're gouging us, guys. So best way to use that digital art, one way, shall I say, is greeting cards. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so... Um, I created this digital image, which is here, and I created this digital image inside of Midjourney. If you want to learn how to use Midjourney, there is a video tutorial on my um, channel that I uploaded today. So you can go check it out if you don't know how to use um, Midjourney. That is not what this is about. I'm just going to be using it today to show you how to create an image that you can use for Valentine's Day okay or whatever type of greeting card that you want to create but we're going to be specifically focused on valentine's day <clears throat> so from discord we're going to go in and we're going to key in our prompt now this is the prompt that i used african-american woman wearing a red dress and red bottom heels standing and holding a red valentine's day box hair long and wavy smiling with big dimples bedroom background okay um and then i did some variations um of it as you can see here so there's one that generated from that prompt and here's one that also generated using that prompt and then it was this one okay so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that Again, you can use this prompt. I'm going to regenerate the, um, using this prompt. And I'm just going to change a keyword, a few keywords, just so you can see um, that you can switch this up to meet whatever needs you may have. Uh, All right, there we go. All right, so in Discord, we're going to do a forward slash imagine. And then we're going to paste that prompt in. Well, I'm going to paste it in. You may have to type it in if you want to use the same one I'm using. And this time, we're going to say standing, doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, wearing a red dress and red bottom heels, standing in a red, standing holding a red Valentine's Day box hair. With the hair, we're going to say short and curly. Short and curly. And we're still going to leave her smiling with big dimples and bedroom background. So we're going to go ahead and enter. And then um, we're going to get our images here in just a moment. And we're going to be using one of these images to create our greeting card. Now, these greeting cards I purchased at Michael's. You get 10 of them along with the envelopes and um, you can get them in different colors. So I chose kind of like an off-white and then kind of like a beige color for the ones that I have. And so real convenient, real easy. Grab those up. That way you can create your greeting cards this year without having to worry about, you know, um, trying to use card stock and then cutting it down to size and all that good stuff. All right, so here's our images that have been generated using that prompt. So we have her and she's kind of cute. Uh, I think I'm going to do this one right here, but I'm going to do variations. So to do variations, this is up, This is image one, two, three, four. I'm going to tell it to upscale image two. So I'm going to say upscale two. And it's going to upscale that image for me. 
if I wanted to get different variations of that image, then I could very easily do variations of two, and then it will give me four variations, four new variations of just image two. All right, so this is the one we're going to use, even though I think that one's kind of cute too. And that one, all of them. <laughs> You can be lost in creating these digital images, guys. I promise you, you really can. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to let this generate here. And then I'm going to show you how to take it into Microsoft PowerPoint, which is what I'm going to be using. And we're going to design this out super quickly and print it out. And then you will have an idea of one of the things that you can use your digital images for. Because I get asked that question a lot. Well, what do we do? Why, why do we create these digital images? It's just like when you want to, you know, design a T-shirt or design a Tumblr or now greeting card or you want to put an image on a canvas. Um, any type of designing you want to do to your artwork or to your um, products, um, you can use these digital images that you're creating in the different AI generators. OK. All right. So here's our updated version of it and she's a cutie okay so you can open it in the browser to get a bigger um, image of it i'm not really feeling that sort of red but it'll work okay so just for the purposes of what we're doing here today all right so what i'm going to do um once you uh open up your image you can right click and you can save image as so I'm going to do that and I'm going to save it to my desktop on my external hard drive and <clears throat> I'll save that there. All right. And then we're going to now go over to Microsoft PowerPoint. So we're going to go into Microsoft. Let me bring that up. Okay, so this is the card that I did, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the card that I showed you in the opening of this video tutorial, and this is the inside of it, okay? So what I'm going to do is, um, and what you want to do, because these cards are five by seven, so you want to start out in Microsoft by going to design, slide size, custom slide size, and you want to make sure you make the width and the height five by seven and I'm using the portrait. Now, if you're doing a greeting card and you're going to do yours in the landscape, then you select landscape, but mine is in the portrait position, okay? And then you're gonna click okay. Now I'm gonna change one of these digits so you can see something here. When I hit okay, you wanna make sure to hit ensure fit, okay? Ensure fit and then maximize. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put mine back on 5.7. And all right, so once you do that, you're going to get a blank slide. Do, 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 do. You're going to get a blank slide just like this. If you have any writing or anything on it, you can always right click and say layout and choose a blank slide. So if yours came up with something like that, then you just Left click, come down to layout and choose blank, okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is bring our imaging in. So we're gonna insert from the menu picture, this device, and we're gonna go out and grab our image that we just created in Midjourney from a desktop. And it is that one I know it is. Okay. So now we got our image. Now with Microsoft PowerPoint, it's going to try to give you some uh, designing options over here on the right side of your screen. And so if I like that, I could choose that or I could choose that. But it's going to try to give you some options to try to help you with designing. This is the one that I took initially. And this is the one that I'm going to use again just to make it easy. If you don't like any of these, you can always click on see more design ideas and it'll continue to add additional 
images in there, or not images, but um, examples in there for you, okay? Just like that. All right, but since I wanna put this wording on the bottom, I'm going to go back and I'm gonna stick with this one, okay? Now, one of the other things is I wanna have kinda like some little hearts or something at the bottom along with my words. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna say insert picture and I'm gonna say online pictures. And I'm just gonna say hearts background. And enter. And then I'm going to find one of these. I actually chose something like this initially. I want something that's not too busy. So I'm just going to select this one. That one may not give me enough hearts, so let's just see. Because we still want to be able to see our wording. Um, I just think that one's going to be too dark. Let's go with this one. Okay, so we're going to click insert. And, oh, that's why it looked like that, because it had red and white hearts. I didn't see the white. I would have been able to see the white if I had that um, background, so that's not going to work. Delete that one. We can go back. Online pictures. Hearts. You can actually type whatever kind of background you want. I just want something really soft um, so that you'll be able to see the text. Let's go with this one. Insert. Yep, that'll be perfect. Now, sometimes you have to watch when you bring in clip art and images from Microsoft PowerPoint because it'll have the artist's name in the little box on the bottom, and you want to make sure you click and delete that. Otherwise, it's going to show up in your project and you don't want that all right so i'm just going to crop this so i have it selected picture format crop and i'm going to crop it down like so like that and we want to make sure that i'm going to click and say bring to front because we want her image not that far I think I should bring it down a little bit further. Picture crop, because I still want that kind of jagged background at the bottom. So let me go back and let's see. There we go. Okay. We have the little hearts at the bottom now. Again, you don't have to put this on yours. I'm adding it to mine. And then I'm going to take it, I'm going to copy it because I also want it on my next slide. But on my next slide, I'm gonna go ahead and crop it and bring it back up. And I'm gonna kinda stretch it a little bit there, like that. So that when I add my wording, it'll have these little hearts in the back in the background. Now you can soften this up just by right clicking on uh, click the image and then right click and say um, size and position. And we're gonna select picture, picture transparency. And then you can kind of soften up those hearts a little bit. You see how they're kind of fading away? and you can make them a little bit softer. So I'm gonna bring them to about uh, 41%. That's gonna be perfect. And I'm just gonna bring them down to where they fit. And there we go. Okay, so now we got our outside and inside of card ready. Um, now this is just one piece of card stock, so there's not um, two pieces where you flip it open. Okay, so keep that in mind if you decide to use these. And um, I'm going to put the Happy Valentine's Day, honey, on there again. So we're going to go to insert, 
we're going to go to insert and we're going to use um, word art and you just select whichever one of these you want to work with i'm going to use this one this time we're going to type our text in happy valentine's day coming and <clears throat> Um, we're going to make this smaller. So we're going to come up to home and we're going to use our font or text size here. That's where you can bring it in. And I think I did about a 40 last time. I might have to bring it down some more. Mm -mm -mm, like that. And we're going to change that font. I think I used one of these last time. Yep, that one. This is autumn and November. And I'm going to change the color to red. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit more in size. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, so we have a happy Valentine's Day, honey. This is going to be the um, outside of the card. Now, if you want to make that red the same color of the dress so it won't be so awkward, um, what you could do is you're just going to highlight your text, come up to your little A with the underline color, which is your font color, and choose eyedropper. And then you can pick a color or shade of red from her dress. I think I went too dark. So I'm going to choose another color that's not so dark. Okay, that's better. So that the reds kind of blend a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have our happy Valentine's Day. I think I'm going to go back in and put a little bit more transparency on the hearts because I don't want them to stand out. I'm going to make sure I'm on the hearts. Um, so that I make sure that the text stands out more. So now I have it at 42%. I think it might have changed a little bit. I'm not sure. All right, we're going to bring that up. <clears throat> and if you like, you can always go to shape format. I'm clicked on the text now, shape format, and come over to text outline. And you can actually say no outline. I think I like that better. This is the outline came from um, when I did the word art, but I don't want that outline. Okay, so we have happy Valentine's Day, honey. You can click clearly take away the little hearts and just have just the text by text by itself just like that um i just do this just so that it's just a little bit of extra little designing um in there all right so now we have the inside of our card outside of our card or the back side of our card shall i say um i'm just going to insert this text feel free to copy this thank you for always being there i'm so lucky to have found you my husband my rock my best friend you make me feel so loved and protected. I can forget everything when I'm in your arms, okay? So I'm not going to retype this, but if you were to insert your text, you just go to the menu, insert. Let me make sure I'm on the right slide. Insert text box. <clears throat> and then you just start, you know, typing whatever you want to type in there. Uh, I'm not going to go through all that. And then you, you know, change your text to whatever text you want to use but again feel free to use this i took this off the internet so you know no stress there i'm just going to copy and paste it and i just pasted the hearts like crazy okay why do i keep pulling up the Oh, it's because it's smaller. I mean, it's behind. 
my hearts. So there we go. Copy. Take out the thingy thing thing thing. And now paste. All right. And again, I'm going to go back over to transparency. And I'm going to make that a little bit more transparent so that my words stand out better. And then kind of get it centered in there. Now, the only thing I would not add would be signature. Uh, you want to per personalize this guy. So, you know, you want to put love your uh, your your loving wife or, you know, your bookie boo, whatever you call each other, you know, you want to write that in. So, all right. So now we have our front of our card and our inside of our card. And when you get ready to print this, guys, you want to go to file. I'm using the HP Office Jet Pro 7740. So I'm going to go to print. And it already has my 7740 in there. I'm going to click on printer properties just to show you what settings I'm using. So I have it on borderless. I'm using other matte inkjet print uh, papers because this paper is not glossy. Okay. Um, normally I would do print on both sides, but I'm going to show, I'm just going to show you how to do it this way to make it easy. And then we're going to do one page per sheet and I have it on best quality. Then we're going to come up to my paper quality. I have it on a five by seven. This is very important that you go ahead and put it on a five by seven. Okay. So you just click the little drop down arrow and select your card size. I'm using the main tray for this. And my paper type again is other matte inject paper. And at this point, I'm ready to click on OK. <coughs> and you're going to go ahead and readjust your printer. Put your card in and then you're going to hit print. Make sure that you choose print current slide um, so that it will only, so that if you have more than one slide in this deck like I do, that it's only going to print the one that you're working on. Okay, so we're going to print, we're going to print the current slide, which is this image right here. And you can see exactly what my card is going to look like on the front. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my printer. I'm going to show you how I load my paper in my printer and then we're going to, I'm going to click on print so we can print this out. All right, guys, here is the, again, the greeting card paper. This is rec uh, Recollections. You get 10 uh, cards and 10 envelopes. And I think this was like $5. I can't remember. I know it wasn't very expensive but you're going to have um, your envelope and your card. So you're going to take out one of your cards. And again, these are not going to print out glossy. They have like a matte look to them and they're the same on the both sides. You're going to take that. I've already adjusted the inside of my um, printer. This is the HP Office Jet Pro 7740. So I'm just going to take my card and insert it. I've already adjusted this so that it fits the size of the um, 5x7. And we're going to go ahead and push that in. And I'm going to click print on my um, printer. Give me one second. So it's now printing out. I need to get a better table to hold my printer. It like <clears throat> so heavy. It's such a big printer. All right, and because I put it on best, it takes a little bit longer. All right, 
So here we have our image and your ink does have a little bit of wetness to it. Oops. So there's our image. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. I'm not sure what's going on with the top of my printer, but it's been acting kind of wonky lately. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right back in my printer with the top part of the card facing the printer. So I'm just going to place it right back in. Just like that. I'm going to close it up. And then I'm going to go back to Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm going to click on that second slide and just hit print because I've already put the settings in there for it to print current slide, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my printer now and click on the second slide. So now we're printing the back side of the card. And we can go ahead and get our envelope together here. And the good thing about these guys is that you can even, you know, put those hearts on the front of your envelope and put your envelope in your printer. Just change the size because your envelope is a little bit bigger, but just change it to the size of your envelope and then print the envelope without having to do any writing or anything on it. So now we have the back side of our card, greeting card. So front side and back side and then you just take it and sign it <clears throat> make sure you sign it spray a little perfume on there <laughs> you know how we try to get all romantical and just pop your card right into your envelope and you're done so that's one of the things that you can do with your digital art guys um, that you're creating um, is create your own standard greeting cards. And you saw how simple that was. It takes me longer to explain it than it will take you to actually create it in uh, mid journey and then, you know, design it out in whatever software you choose to use. I just choose PowerPoint but you can use anything. I will tell you, if you use Cricut Design Space, remember that Cricut Design Space is going to put that black registration mark around. So that's why I did not use Cricut Design Space. Um, I didn't see like a, a glossy of these, these because um, that's what I'm looking for now. If I find the glossy, I'll let you know because I think the glossy will set this off and make it even prettier, okay? So that's it, guys. That is how you can create a card in... Um, or a design in your AI software, regardless to which one you're using, and then print it out and create your own standard greeting cards, okay? All right, guys. So that's it for our greeting card that we have now, or I've now shown you how to create. Very easy, okay? That's your greeting card. And remember, this is just matte, so it's not gonna print out glossy. And then your words and everything on the back side with your little hearts. Then, like I said, just pop it into your envelope. And there you have it, okay? All right, guys. Um, if you are currently in my Facebook group, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via my Facebook group, Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. If you would like to join my Facebook group, it will be linked in the description of this video tutorial so you can get directly to my group. You do have to agree to the Facebook group rules. Um, and then um, if you're currently subscribed, subscribed to my YouTube channel, 
Um, then I want to thank you guys so much for following me on YouTube and subscribe, being subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe. I am going to have a um, giveaway or raffle um, based off of this video tutorial. So you do have to be a subscriber and this, um, and you do have to leave a comment on this video. So two things are required. You have to be a sus subscriber. I don't know why I'm tripping on that word today, but you do have to be a subscriber and you do have to um, leave a comment on this particular video. Now this um, contest is going to run until the end of the last day of January, and then we'll announce the winner on February 1st, okay? So anytime after January 31st, please do not uh, ask me about the, um, <laughs> the contest because it will be over. It will end on January 31st of 2023, okay? So you have to be a subscriber and you have to leave a comment on this video. OK, and then I will draw the winner on February 1st of 2023. And we have to say that because, you know, these videos sh will show as long as I have them up. Um, and the winner of the um, drawing will get a $50 Amazon gift card. OK, $50 Amazon gift card. OK, and all you have to do is be a subscriber to my YouTube channel and leave a comment on this particular video, okay? And then I will draw the winner on February 1st, but the last day for your comment will be January 31st. So between now and January 31st, you're gonna have to leave a comment on this particular video, all right? And you get a $50 Amazon gift card, okay? And I think that's all, that's it and that's all, okay? All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for, like I said, subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And good luck on the chances of winning that $50 Amazon gift card. All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.